to what extent have things run up a bit too fast this first week of the year and kind of brought various price targets uh, too close for, for having a bullish call on the sector for the whole year? Thank you for having me, Wilfred. And you're right, the stocks have really rallied very strongly here at the beginning of the year. It kind of reminds me of the start of 2018 when we also had a similar rally in the beginning of the year. And I think what's going to happen is, as you know, the banks are going to start reporting results a week from today with J.P. Morgan, the city, and, and Wells kicking it off. And I think investors are going to be able to reassess the outlook for 2022 in view of the Federal Reserve's policy that's changing from monetary easing to monetary tightening. And if that happens, obviously, with them raising short-term interest rates, that's going to be really positive for the banks. And so I think price targets and earnings revisions throughout 2022 could be increased depending on the number of uh, Fed fund rate increases we get. How, how much when you make your picks, which, which we want to get to, particularly, let's say, initially amongst the big, big cap six banks, how much are you looking at valuation multiple versus, you know, fundamental exposure for the bank in, in terms of the environment in the year ahead? Well, it's, it's a combination of both, I think. And you bring up a really good point because the valuations for the banks are, are getting to the point where they are reaching their cyclical highs of 2016-17. You might recall during that time period, that was the last tightening period that the banks uh, um, experienced from the uh, beginning of 2016 through the end of 18. And the bank stocks had a great move in 2016 and 17, uh, outperformed the markets uh, considerably during that two-year period. 2018, in the second half of the year, they did not do as well. But the valuations did get up to about 1.6 times book and almost two times tangible book. And we have to really determine this year if the profitability for the group, the return on equity, if we think it can move higher than it was back then. So in 2017, when the stocks peaked out, they were kicking off about a 13 percent return on equity and about a 15 percent return on tangible common equity. We get above those numbers, then the valuations will move higher and that will help obviously push the stock prices higher throughout the year. So, so given that outlook, Gerard, and the higher interest rates and improved loan growth, which names do you like best? Well, Sarah, I think there's a, a number of ways of playing the banks this year uh, with, with the universal banks and the money center banks. We think Citigroup is an interesting play. They've had a number of setbacks in 2021 um, from ha obviously having the uh, cease and desist order for having the money transfer problems inside the bank. Uh, they also had the setback with Google, um, the number of different things. 2022, I think, could be the year where they narrow the valuation gap between them and their peers, like a Bank America, JP Morgan Chase, and Wells. They have a big investor day coming up in early March. That will give everybody uh, the lay of the landscape under Jane Frazier, the new CEO. And there could be some real positive momentum. And again, the gap is just so wide between its peers that this could be a name. And a global recovery, of course, is going to be very positive for cities since over 50 percent of their business comes from outside the United States. Another name to look at, of course, is Bank America. Big name here in the United States. Asset sensitive. Will do very well as rates go higher. It's a real play. And then on a regional name, M&T Bank Corp up in Buffalo, New York, very uh, well-run bank. They're closing on the people's deal, which should be in the first quarter. They also have a lot of liquidity as rates rise. They'll be able to put that to use. And in that people's acquisition, plenty of cost savings, economies of scale could push that stock higher as well. 